Thank you for coming. What's wrong with her? She's only sleeping. I've never had any intention of hurting her. Once her inner turmoil begins to settle, I'll have her remember her life as she wishes to live it. The life that she wishes for, huh? Call it what you like. You're merely brainwashing people for your own satisfaction. world, we really could lead happy lives, free from pain and suffering. But our memories will be distorted to allow for the new circumstances. There's probably no way to avoid that. All the dots. For the sake of Yoshizawa-san, and the rest of your friends, I ask you to give me your answer. I can't accept this reality. Huh? Philemon! Negotiations seem to have broken down. Maybe. I see. It seems we still haven't reached an understanding. No! You're not serious, right? Please! I'm begging you, Senpai! Please, let me live as Kasumi! I've got her! All the dots. But why? This pain is too much. Why can't I just leave it behind me? Kasumi is gone forever. And, and it's all my... All Samiri's fault! I can't live that kind of life! Please, don't try to stop me. We're gonna have to fight her? If you do, then I'll... Are you serious? How stubborn. No matter what you say to her, I doubt she'll understand. I don't think we have a choice in the matter here. I could take care of it for you right now. But you'd prefer her to leave here alive, right? It would be preferable, yeah. Just hurry up and end this. 
Please, don't make me do this. I can't stop this! I refuse to live as Kasumi's killer! Sandrion! It didn't do nothing. Diamond dust. Let's see how much it does. It's not working. Concentrate. All right. No. Ah, good. You weren't defeated by the old razzle dazzle. Well, there we go. Looks like you lost. Why? You need to stop. Senpai. No. I can't. I can't go back to being Sumire. You saw it all for yourself, Senpai. It's my own fault that my sisters... Why don't you understand? Please, I beg you. Yoshizawa-san. Mm. <sighs> I can give you strength, so you don't have to suffer. Doctor. Tell me. If you want your pain to end, and desire to live as Kasumi, I'll actualize it! He does like his tentacles, doesn't he? Did he? Sadly, she has lost sight of herself. She's in pain. Now, be her guide, and together, escape from the nightmare! <sighs> no, I... I can't! I don't want to go back to my life in cinders, ever again! What the hell? This so-called kindness of his disgusts me. Let's do this quick. I refuse to go back! I'm happy here. This is where I belong! I'll rescue you. The only way I know how. By force? It's gone totally berserk. We need to stop her persona. I'll take that. Oh. It ate the smaller one? Saves us doing it. What a pain. We'll have to beat it before it heals itself again. It's time. I'll give it a go then. There. Let's see what we're up against here. <laughs> I'll break them. Oh, go on, break them, mate. Break them. Out of my way! Stand down! Stand down. That little jump he did. Persona. Diamond dust. I'm just wondering, like, what, what is this Save doing to... Time. What do we call her now? I wanted to say Kasumi, but obviously not, you know. Like, huh. Alright, oh. Let's get the buffs at least. Do. No way I'll be able to do enough damage, surely. None will stand in my way. Maybe. Persona! Maybe. Can't concentrate. Fear my 
Okay, 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 okay. Debilitate on it. Oh, that's opposite of what I just did. Damn it. There's no end to this. Just what the hell is this thing? I refuse to return. I will never go back to being such pathetic, soot-coated garbage! You can't tell? It's her refusal to accept the truth. to waste time on this shit! Here it comes! I don't think so! There's Ryuji. Damn it, Skull. I told you not to rush in by yourself like that. No, that was awesome. At least it seemed to work out in our favor. You came. Our apologies for making you wait so long. I know, I've been waiting a while. Is that... a Kechikun and Dr. Maruki? Yoshi's always trapped by... Why is her persona doing this? What in the world is going on here? Uh, so much of this shit makes no sense, but we'll cover it later. We've got to stop her first, right Joker? All right, let's get in formation. Do I have a choice? It'd be nice to pick my group and stuff. Okay, guys, leave the navigation to me. Let's push it back. Unbelievable. Why did they come here? Let's go. That's basically because of the one really good scene from Star Trek V. I need my pain. Diamond dust. Mine. Ooh, fair enough. I guess everything reset. So, yeah, let's get Gambler's Foresight. What's he doing with his throat during that? Like, I'll strangle myself, it makes me feel good. Like, okay, mate. Matrukja. Ability to throw that out on you. I will screw you. I won't hold back. Come. Um, well, I'm going to throw out the diamond Go dust, but I want to get the debilitate back on. Go, go, go again, go again. Mazada. Yeah, so we've got that and you ready. We got it done. That was awesome, Mona! Stop giving me the heat rise. Saves me killing it. It's Drake. Right. Dip the stage again. Let's stand on you. Let's try and get rid of you. So dip the stage on you already. We got it done. That's fine. Let's go. Persona. Diamond dust. Nice. It looks like it's working. Just hang in there a little longer. I'll break that. Make a danger, Dolan. 
God damn it, Ketchy. Can you not do better than that? you've thrown away your happiness just to come here and and how it's impossible you're you're dr maruki right <sighs> that's right more importantly why are dude what the hell's doc doing inside a palace he's ruling this palace is what he's doing yeah we knew that much. That wasn't the question, Akechi. Dear, dear. What? Not only that, he's the one who's generated this whole distorted reality. Isn't that right, Maruki-san? All of this was done for your own joy. Our joy? That's right. I only wanted to grant your wishes. Each and every one. Wait, you what? What do you mean? We never wish for anything like that. Is that really true? Huh? No, never mind. So, you all intend to deny the reality I've created for you. If you want to fight me, then so be it. If you plan on changing my heart, that's fine too. But before that, I think there's still room for discussion here. Also, I believe taking care of Yoshizawa-san is more important than settling this issue right now. Planning to run again? We can get back to fighting if that's what you really want, but I think you're rather exhausted at the moment. <sighs> Yoshizawa-san! Look, all right, don't, don't all gather around her like that. Give us some air. There's still time. February 3rd. I'll hear your final decision on the 3rd. That's like a month away. If your views can't align with mine by then, we'll have no other choice but a physical altercation. Fisty cuffs it is. As much as I would loathe that, I still can't give up what I've started. What I swore I'd do. On the day I lost everything that mattered to me. I've lost his reading! I want to pursue him, but I doubt that's even possible right now. Let's get out of here. Yoshizawa's gotta rest anyway. I'm still just as shocked as I was when we first came here. I, 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 why did I end up being the one carrying her, though? The navigators return to our devices. A palace is visible in our own reality. Um, does this mean reality's broken right now or something? Does this mean mementos are back as well? Something to do with Dr. Maruki, anyway. Hey. How much do you already know about this stuff? Ah, uh, quite a bit. I should tell them what I know so far. So, Dr. Maruki... He altered our reality... to make our dreams come true? This is all too much for me to handle at once. Apologies for the interruption. Mind if I interject? Yes, I do. Go stand over there and wait. That's right! A catchy. There's no reason to be defensive. There's every reason to be defensive. 
Had I wished to kill you all, I would have simply done so already. You tried, remember that. You failed, yeah? He's helping. For now. So you're not here to fight us. I've already put our feud behind me. Not only that. Since he and I both refuse to accept reality as Maruki sees fit to make it, we currently have the same goal. So what you're saying is you're using him. What about the rest of you? Considering how you were all living your ideal lives in that other reality, until you decided to come here. Maruki seems to be telling the truth about taking your happiness into consideration. While his heart is distorted, he is quite different from the adults whose hearts you've changed so far. Now that you know his intentions, I'm most interested in learning whether you still plan on fighting him or not. What do you mean? I'm up against someone with the power to distort reality as we know it. The more allies on my side, the better. If we all share the same goal, shouldn't we join forces and improve our odds? <sighs> oh, you're awake. I'll be going now. Be sure to consider my point. Uh, I have. Whatever. Moving on. Hey! Hey! Jeez. Yoshizawa, are you alright? What I'm thinking right now is Royale with G's. With G's, yes. I... Like, can you stand? This is really hurting my back, you know. Oh. Yes. Oh, thank God. I'm sorry that I caused you all so much trouble. No, no, you don't need to apologize. We should probably go our separate ways for now and discuss it at a better time. Yeah, tomorrow we can... Oh, yeah, third semester starting up tomorrow, right? I guess we're going back to school, huh? Yay! We still don't have any idea what we want to do from here on out, though. We've got time. Maruki said he'll wait until February 3rd before... Let's really think it over before making our decision. I mean, I guess we don't even need to send a calling card or anything, do we? Yo, welcome back. I didn't know you guys were out together. Wait, what's wrong, Futaba? Calm down. Hey, Sojiro? Is Mom? Mom? You mean Wakaba? Well, what about her? Uh, nah, it's nothing. It's just I happen to remember something about her, that's all. I see. Okay, then. You know, I caught myself thinking about her earlier, too. <laughs> Odd coincidence, huh? Yes. <gasps> well, I'm gonna head home for the night. How about you, Futaba? Mm, I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. I see. Don't stay out too late, all right? The place is all yours. So, based on that conversation, it is the world has gone back to the way we left it before Maruki started messing around with it? You've got school tomorrow, too, so get to bed at a reasonable time. Although there is another indicator that it's gone back to normal. Like, yeah, Sierra's right there. really is gone again. Sojiro sees it that way too now. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you what happened before we came to rescue you. We all ended up here at the same time after you left for Odaiba. What was that? Meow. Wait, you're... What the? I'm... Oh yeah, that's right. Why were you human, Mona? Yeah, you're supposed to be a cat. 
I am not a... Oh, wait. Yeah, I guess I am a cat. Meow and such. How did we never realize? You know, we've got more important things to do than sit around here and figure out what happened to us. That's right! You said he was headed to Odaiba, correct? And with Akechi-kun? We need to find them! Once we got to Odaiba, we spotted the palace. You know how the rest goes. You were fighting this whole time, weren't you? While I was just bumming around town without a care. I mean, it's kind of understandable, given the scenario. I'm sorry. Deep down, I always suspected something strange was happening. Something wrong. But being with my mom was so much fun, I just... I stopped trying to figure it out. Uh, but I totally snapped out of it thanks to you. I'm all good now. It's okay if this is painful. Yep, no worries. I'm fine. With... Yeah, it's like you wouldn't be fine. School's tomorrow, right? You better not stay up late. You might end up oversleeping. We've all been through too much today. Let's try to get some sleep. Got something to say. It's, you were quite the looker. What? Look, who you're talking about? How could I be anything else? <sighs> Sheesh. All this trouble with Yoshizawa and Maruki. I've got nothing but problems right now. Yep. But now we should all meet up at the hideout. We gotta recap the situation and hold a strategy meeting. I've been trying to wrap my head around all this and. It's just not happening. Can't think straight at all. I can hardly blame you. I'm still so confused myself. Either way, I think we've all earned a bit of rest. Maybe a good night's sleep will help us all calm down. You're right. Certainly the combat has us tired out as well. We could all use some time to decompress. And on that note, good night. Well, we're going to need time to figure all this out. Either way, we can think about this tomorrow. For now, we should go to sleep. I guess we'll go to sleep now. Make everyone happy, huh? But even so... Anyway, let's think about it tomorrow. Sleep. Velvet room? Yes. I'm chained up again. It's been quite some time. We have finally succeeded in reaching you. Uh, what's going on? You have been imprisoned once more. This time, not by the God of Control, but a different entity. One who's bound you through your future. However... You held fast to your free will and believed in your bonds, allowing your friends to regain their own realities. You are on the verge of grasping a potential reality once more. Our meeting again now within this place is proof enough. It seems the time has come. The time has come. What do I do now? We are merely beings who provide aid to humans as they carry out their will. You must be the one to determine the path and actions to take. If the will of rebellion still thrives within you, then we will surely meet again. The 10th, a Tuesday. Lady Lavenza told you that? We ought to tell everyone else that, too. Let's all meet up after school. Um... Uh... Good morning. <sighs> um... I'm sorry. I can't believe what I tried to do to you two. 
I genuinely cannot apologize enough for what happened. Yes, you can. You've apologized enough. It's fine. Oh, come on. There's no need for that. More importantly, how have you been? Physically, I'm fine. But mentally... To be entirely honest, I'm all mixed up. All the dots. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't bother you with such things now. I'm going to need a little time to myself to think things through. I have to figure out what to do with myself from here on. Morning. My shoulder? It's fine. Why do you ask, coach? May I take the extra classes as well? I want to study more. This class is so awesome. There's no bullying or anything like that here. Like, yeah, it's just us then. My bad, I have club today after school. You guys can go home without me. Huh? Club? I, I thought he was in the go home club. Dicta. Time's up. Happy New Year, everyone. You all did your homework, right? Next year is going to be all about your college entrance exams. Oh, great. So you'd better start preparing now. Oh, and if you cause any trouble, that'll show up on your transcripts. So make sure you behave yourselves, okay? Now, time to turn in that homework. Let's see who's on class duty today. Man. Have you been studying? Oh, not that you really had time for that. Afternoon. Is everyone rested up? More or less. My mind was racing so much that I passed out before I even realized it. Same here. I think I have sorted through my own thoughts, but I'd still like to hear everyone else's take. Let's meet at the hideout. Sure thing. We'll come to the hideout right after school then. Gotcha. Cool. I'll be waiting for you all. Hey! We definitely need to update everyone about Lady Lavenza. And cook up our plans from here on out, too. Gonna go do some meditating. Reach inner sen, inner peace, you know. We have to choose our own path, eh? Akechi had mentioned that we needed to determine what we'll do from here on out. It seems he was right. We can accept this reality, but that means we'll have to fight Dr. Maruki, right? That's right. We have to confront Maruki and steal his desire. In a way, it's business as usual for us. Dr. Maruki is an adult with a warped desire, but that desire is just a wish for us all to be happy, right? I admit, it's nothing similar to the desires we've seen in the likes of Shido and Kamoshida. The Phantom Thieves only change the hearts of evildoers. Dr. Maruki is quite different from our past targets. Yeah. It's it's a more tricky situation this time. Well, I think we already know what we gotta do. Haru's right. Dr. Maruki ain't a shitty adult at all. There are probably plenty of folks out there living all happy in this reality. Who knows? Maybe Dr. Maruki is actually doing the right thing. But we all still feel like this reality's wrong, right? We decide what's right for ourselves. That's what we all agreed on when we went after him in the palace. If changing Doc's heart fixes our reality, then I'm gonna do it. Uh, so... somebody say something? No, you're right, mate. You're spot on. Uh, sorry. I, I was just thinking about how right you are, Ryuchi. So we're going to change our target's heart not to reform society, but to acquire the reality we believe in. That doesn't sound bad at all. Then it's unanimous. Well, that means our next step is pretty clear. Check out the palace. Right. Maruki said that he'd be willing to fight if we are too. It's safe to assume he's expecting us to infiltrate his palace. That reminds me. You know that, uh, uh reality bending stuff? Why is Doc able to do that anyway? I've been wondering the same thing. 
Even if he was the top cognitive science expert, that wouldn't be enough for him to do all of this. If we're going to fight Maruki, we'd better dig up some more intel on him first. Good day. Hello. This is Lavenza speaking. Lavenza? Huh? Your will of rebellion has reached new heights. We would like to aid that will, if you find it agreeable. That'd be helpful. Wait, how is she even calling you? She's got my number. And how'd she know how high our wills are? <gasps> Did she tap your line or something? Her timing was just too perfect. Maybe she actually did. I have performed no form of electronic surveillance whatsoever. Apparently she can hear you. There is something I wish to tell you regarding your current situation. However, I'm reaching the limit of my communication ability with this method. Let us meet in person tomorrow. Meet? Yes. Of course, your friends are also invited. As for the location... Let us convene at your school. At Shujin? Wait, she'll be at the school? Lavenza will? In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. She hung up. Is she really gonna go to our school? Just walk through the front gates like nothing? I'm not sure what to make of it. But since we've determined our goal and Lavenza's offer to help us, I'd call that progress of some sort. All we have left is whatever we discuss tomorrow at school, plus whether or not we're going to team up with Akechi. Considering what he told us, really does seem like we share an end goal with Akechi, but... I don't trust him. Well, I think we ought to team up. Mm-hmm. Me too. Are you sure? Dr. Maruki's strong enough to change reality itself. If we're gonna fight him, we're gonna need Akechi's help. Plus, if he does betray us again, we'll just take him out too. I guess that settles that. Let's all meet at Shujin tomorrow. I'll take care of figuring out how to get Yusuke and Futaba in the school. I appreciate the effort. Thank you. All right, let's head home for now. Evening. So, do you think Clavenza will make it to the school? Hope she doesn't get lost or anything. Yeah, don't you think it's a bad idea? Her wandering around in that getup? That's true. Hopefully no one gives her a hard time. If someone does, you better come up with a good excuse for her, Ren. I'll handle it. What are you will even say? Your opinions are kind of limited as a transfer student. I'll just say all the dots at them. Just say she's your little sister or something. At any rate, I'm certain she would reach out to us if something were to go awry. That's true. We can put our faith in Lavenza. Agreed. Let us know if anything changes, Ren. Good night, everyone. Yeah. Why would Lady Lavenza want to meet up at the school? It's not like she just wants to check out the place, right? It's probably the entire reason. It's probably the entire reason. Um, I'm imagining we just need to go to sleep then. Take a break. <sighs> All the dots. Hey. Sorry, it's nothing. Hmm, doesn't seem like nothing. No. I was just... remembering what happened that night. You remember, right? The night before we went into Mementos to erase it. Before we dealt with Shido. Hey! Remember how I said I finally found the place where I belong? Even though I said that and really believed it, still fell right into Maruki's hands. I know I've made it obvious how much I want to be a human. More than once I thought it would give me a chance with Lady Arn, but... What I did was just so lame. 
I believe I was off having a blast while you were busy trying to help us. But you came back. Well, yeah, that's true. But I mean, it was just the right thing to do. Now that I think about it, you've been helping me from the very beginning. Hell, I was locked up in a prison when we first met. I'm nowhere near cool. You don't have to be cool. All the dots. Right. Well, that's true. After all we've been through together, there's no point trying to act cool in front of you. Listen up. Know what? I'm gonna make you a promise right now. From here on, I'm gonna be more independent. I just kept relying on you for everything because deep down, I thought you could figure everything out for me. But that's all changing. I'm going to stand proud on my own four feet. And I'm going to be the one to protect you. I promise I will. Oh, hello. I've discovered a new... No. My original power. All right. Diego! Is it Diego Maradona? Does he have God's hand? Okay. All right. Time to serve Maruki his just desserts. Anyone who tries to pull over one on us, like that, is asking for it. Let's do our best. Right. Sorry again for all the hassle. You and I are gonna be even greater partners now. Let's turn in for the night. Mm, things are going to get hectic starting tomorrow. Let's call it a night. Medical rush. I could have been God's hand. It would have been funny, especially with a name like Diego. 